G'day folks, it's Rico here with another great easy tip. Now there's no doubting that this is one of my favorite features on the Easy Trail range of caravans, and of course I'm talking about the shower. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to use the Truma hot water system, whether you're on 240 volts or if you're running off of gas. The first step to getting your hot water set up and running, whether you're on 240 or gas, always starts right here. This is the vent for the Truma hot water system, and what we need to do is a couple of thumbs in the center there, give it a squeeze, and take it off. That way it's going to allow the system to vent nicely. Well, if you're going to be running your van off of 240 volts and of course your hot water system the next step is a pretty obvious one and that's to make sure the power is connected alternatively if you're going to be running off of gas make sure that your gas bottle is connected and the tap's been opened the next step brings us back inside the van and at the very bottom of the chest of drawers just in front of the bed you'll find the power point for the hot water system don't forget to switch this one on. Now, whether you're running on 240 volts at a caravan park or off your gas bottle somewhere out in the scrub, you're almost ready to enjoy a nice hot shower. Here we've got the Truma Hot Water Systems control panel. There's a three-way switch here. The top setting will give you 60 degrees of water. In the middle, that's off. And down the bottom, that'll give you 70 degrees. Now, 60 degrees, that'll heat up a little bit quicker, but 70 degrees, that'll give you hotter water for a little bit longer, and that's the setting that I like to go to. One other thing that's worth noting with a little Truma control panel is when you are running on gas alone, there's a little red light that'll come on to let you know that perhaps the pilot light's gone out or maybe your gas bottle hasn't been turned on. Now, if you do come across the red light here on the control panel, don't stress, make sure your gas bottle is full, make sure it's turned on. And if it's windy, just switch it off and then switch it back on again. If the red light goes out, you're good to go. Just give it 10 minutes, the water will heat up, the red light will come back on to let you know that the water's up to temperature and you can go and enjoy yourself a hot shower. Now that your hot water system is ready to go, I just thought I'd tell you about one more handy little feature that you might not know about. This is the ball valve that you'll find underneath the wardrobe and this is going to allow you to draw water from either just the rear tank Spin around the other way, you can get to the front tank, or if you leave it in the center there, you'll be drawing water from either tank, which I reckon is a pretty handy little feature. Now, if you happen to find yourself in a caravan park and you're hooked up to both 240 and the gas so you can take advantage of the Easy Trails inbuilt gourmet kitchen, the hot water system will always default to the 240 volt. So whether you're running on gas or 240, it doesn't matter. Once you've got this set, it's gonna take around 10 minutes or so for that water to be nice and hot, and then you're ready for a nice shower. Now look, if you'd like to know more tips, tricks, hints and hacks, and things that I've picked up over the years from running Easy Trails to every corner of the country, make sure you stay tuned to the Facebook page, give that a like, and while you're online, jump over to the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to that one, and hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos come out. Easy Trail, they really are making camping easy.